My name is Dr. Christine Hofer and I'm the principal at Pierce Middle School. The use of technology is something that we take very seriously and it's important that we have it available and use it wisely throughout the school. We find that we can have our students learn at a deeper level when they have the proper tools. They are using technology to gain that information, but putting their efforts into problem solving and sparking their curiosity and learning how to work collaboratively. And the tools that we have in place help us to achieve now, that goal. With your Chromebooks, these are a piece of technology that you are responsible for. All right, I just checked it out to you. This is now under your name for the rest of the school year. All right, at no time is it ever okay for you to not know where your Chromebook is. We have a makerspace program in our school and our students are able to explore what they want to explore. It's very open-ended. Our teacher guides them with some basic understanding of tools that are available, technology that can enhance what they're doing. This is the makerspace at Pierce Middle School. Um, is kind of a blend of a design class where they, uh, the students get some direct instruction on uh, a lot of fundamental design concepts, 3D design, electronics design, a little bit of coding. Um, and they do that for about half the class. It's a 10 week course. So it's kind of a whirlwind tour of design. Who wants to play a game? Then we move on to the more open uh, part of the course where they work on their own project for about four or five weeks. We're in the workspace right now. It's not really set up because it's just the start of the year. But they'll be in here working on woodworking projects, electronics projects, metalworking. They can do 3D design and 3D printing. We have a CNC mill uh, where they can do 2D design that gets automatically carved out by a computer. Um, and really sort of the sky's the limit. All right, so if you are not helping to play the levels, um, then you should be prioritizing, making sure your level's as ready as possible. And then besides that, I already see some people on SculptFab, right? Yeah, that's fine with me. Guys, push yourselves a little bit farther today on SculptFab. I see people who are still doing the most basic, basic stuff on there. Next week, you guys will have an assignment coming up on SculptFab. So you want to get as familiar with it as possible, which means push yourself. We have attempted to have a minimum technology standard in every classroom. It's important because it's, it's part of how we learn and how society runs these days. So we need to make sure that our kids have the tools in their hands and they know how to use them appropriately and interact with the world using the technology that's available.